Welcome everybody to a very special episode of GeoGuessr. I'm gonna do a news recap for August 2018. So basically everything important that according to me happened in the GeoGuessr world. And um, to not make it so boring for you and having to stare at this schedule here, um, I'm gonna use a map crunch and uh, randomize it from time to time so you can if, if you don't if you don't look here then you then you can like guess where it is and look look on look here where where it actually is so um, unfortunately we cannot see the map that's not possible future but um, yeah should still be better than seeing a blank sheet or not a blank sheet but a sheet for i don't know how long this is go gonna go i'm um, maybe 15 minutes i have no idea i so i'm gonna structure it into four parts i'm gonna do a reddit recap a kundo recap uh, numbers and other stuff and then some small information about my own channel but that's in the end the main focus should be on GeoGuessr and what has been improving, what has not been improving and everything else interesting. Um, if you have things that I you think that I forgot, you're welcome to post it in the comments. Uh, um, definitely nice, nice to hear more. Um, yeah, and We'll see how we, I'm going to continue this. It, it would be cool if I could do this every month. And uh, yeah, so we can look look back a little bit in the future. And also, yeah, just to know what's going on. I mean, not everybody has plays every day. So yeah. Okay, let's get started. Reddit recap. Um, on the 13th of August, the GeoSetter service was announced to be discontinued, unfortunately. Um, for those who don't know, GeoSetter was a website where you could um, make uh, GeoGuessr challenges uh, with the old interface, uh, even if you don't have the pro subscribing in in game. So that was really nice. Um, and quite a few people used it. So the reason bec why it's not continued is that the new Google API um, procedure uh, requires you to enter a credit card data, even if your service doesn't have enough um, traffic to actually cost, you still have to uh, give a credit card information so that if you reach the limit you are automatically charged which is really crazy so i can very much understand that this is not going to be continued there is still the geo generator side as far as i've been told um yeah you can still use that it's not as good as geo setter in my opinion but it's if you need really need to create a challenge I think yeah it might work i'm not not sure how exactly it works anymore but yeah you you can google it i guess if you want then on the same day oh we could click on here that's been a long time um on the same day i found it very interesting that someone posted a a world seed on the on the reddit which uh, showed that he had three times Oklahoma and two times France on the world map. <laughs> so that I found really, really interesting. And um, I think I personally never witnessed a really, really crazy seed like that playing on my own. Um, maybe you can share some, some of your craziest um, stories, seeds that <laughs> were actually crazy for whatever reason. So this one is in Lithuania. Oh wait, not Lithuania, Latvia. No, no, it's Lithuania. Oh, I'm confused. 
Then on the 27th, there was an announcement by Simi that said there's going to be the first US tournament and it's called the President's Cup. It's going to start in late autumn after the European tournament, as far as I know. Um, it's going to be like four, four or five different maps uh, or, or kind of maps. Um, state. So the group stage is going to be state um, challenges and then there's going to be a few different stuff. Um, you can check that out on Reddit if you want. Um, yeah. Then the last thing for the Reddit is there have been four new series on the Reddit um, that have been started. One is the US bootcamp that uh, I created. It's a series that is going to play the, the, ter the challenges or the maps that will be featured on the President's Cup. So that's, yeah, yeah, it's kind of preparation and practice so everybody can get into shape for the tournament. So that's one. Then there's been a new challenge series that's called College Game Day. It is a no moving challenge that, that features stadiums from the NCAA schools in in the US. Um, I haven't played it myself, so I'm just gonna say that. But uh, if you're into college um, schools in the US, I think it will be very interesting. And then there's another series that's called Path Authority. It's also a no moving challenge and it features um, uh, how do you say border? Border on the on the water, borders on the water where there's you have to pass border somehow. I haven't played that either, but sure sounds interesting. And then last but not least, there's been a new series called EU in Capitals that I think it uh, it shows different capital cities in the EU. Not sure if it's handmade or made by a map. Um, it's also no moving as far as I know. Yeah, so that's the four new series. So this is Chile. Not surprising, right? Then let's get over to the Kunda recap. And the most troublesome um, topic first. Um, that's not news from August, but it's really important news that needs to be covered. So I'm I'm gonna put it in here. Um, yeah, we 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 I just mentioned before the Google API. So whenever you play GeoGuessr, you access the Google API through the game, and this creates traffic on Google. And uh, yeah, GeoGuessr is charged. Um, for those accesses and yeah Google it went really crazy and they uh, re, uh, they increased the price of by about 14 times on average I, I read on an article so yeah it's really crazy and we don't know yet how that's gonna impact the game um, I kind of assume there will be some changes that are not going to be nice. Um, I have a few ideas that could be done in case the cost is really um, not bearable. I mean, uh, GeoGuess used to be very profitable, I think, until at least 2016. And it has been growing in 17, I think. So maybe they can cover the cost, maybe not. Um, someone posted that on the 20th, 20th of June and on Kundo and mm, there has not been an answer by the devs. So I kind of assume they still don't know what to do or at least they don't have, have it discussed yet. So yeah, 
we're gonna see i guess that might be a topic that's reoccurring uh if it's not being dealt with or i mean if it's not nothing happens it's great but i'm not so sure and so this is mongolia that's crazy i didn't know there's coverage of uh, such a snow road uh, i never seen mongolia so snowy hmm. all right hey stop um the next kundo topic is on the 11th of august uh it was announced by the devs i think that the maximum distance for um whether it's or like let's say smaller maps like city maps like before it used to be if you if you're off by a few meters you already lose points like even two meters or something you already lose point you don't get five thousand so now they fixed that and they added a margin of five meters. So no matter which map, if you're within five meters, you get 5,000 points. So that's a great start. They might even raise it because some people and myself, including, I uh, would like to see it a little bit higher, like 10 or maybe 15, but not higher than that, I think. Um, that should be fine then so yeah so this is ecuador i actually can put it in full screen that's even better yeah that's typical lesodo <laughs> let's continue and the last kundo topic is slower arrow keys on the 17 it has been reported that the the use of arrow keys it doesn't work here on map crunch but um, you could turn around with the arrow keys instead of the mouse this used to be very fast in my opinion too fast but i never used the future so other people don't like it that it now it's slower um, I probably still don't use it, but for some people that are used to that, I think it's a very big problem. And uh, the devs answered that uh, they cannot do anything about it um, because that's enforced by the Google API and they, they sometimes can keep stuff up, but not for forever. So yeah. And, also they kind of in the answer they i'm not sure they they kind of hinted that they didn't look into it very deep <laughs> in my opinion but um yeah i don't know that's an assumption of course it could, i could be very wrong on that um yeah so this is argentina interesting So that's it for the Kuna recap. Um, next is numbers and miscellaneous. Um, regarding new street view coverage, on the 13th, there has been some small parts of street view have been added. It is for the 2018 Asian, Asian Games in Indonesia that has been held in, I think, two cities. Uh, Jakarta and Palembang, I think. Uh, yeah, I had a look at the coverage. Uh, the picture quality seems very bad for considering it's 2018. So I was quite surprised about that. And then the other thing that got added is the Cygnus offshore gas platform in the North Sea. Um, I actually had to search quite a bit to find out where it should be. And um, I could not find Street View coverage about this. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I have not seen it. Maybe you have. Maybe you can share a link or something. Um, that's very weird because, I mean, you should see blue line or something in the sea then. And I mean, yeah, I know where it is. I looked it up on Google itself. I mean, another website. Uh, yeah, so that's weird. 
uh, other than that, no new coverage. Um, usually in summer there's a big update, but uh, so far we haven't seen that for 2018. We'll see how that goes. So here we have Western Australia. Then, um, so how is the game doing in terms of numbers? Um, I have been tracking the, the count of the world map plays for over a year now. And so I can always see the difference a little bit now, comparing it to the next year, I usually do that. Um, in general, there's not much difference, um, usually, but uh, in this month of August, we only had 746,000 plays on the world map. That's very little. That's probably going to be maybe the least play played amount in 2018, I'm not sure. And one year ago we had 1,089,000. So that's like about 30% or so that's been less. Maybe it's related to the, I don't know, partly to the heat wave in Europe. Maybe people just, I don't know, they play less. In And of course there's a less, um, play count in summer because a lot of people are on vacation. So even though they do have more time, they play less. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's it. And then I wanted to really quick mention that Diverse World reached 20,000 plays overall uh, in total. Um, it's growing very fast and a, a lot of streamers on Twitch are now using it over the world map. So I think it's almost 50 50 if you look on Twitch and like the more skilled player usually use a diverse world. And but if you look at the numbers, it's it, it probably had like it has maybe like 3000 per per week or let's say, yeah, maybe it has 5000 per month or something like that. So that's compared to the world map, that's still nothing kind of. So it's definitely going to be growing more, but most casual players, they just click on world and they play, they might not even have an account. And so a lot of people don't discover it, even though, yeah, it's so popular. And I think I heard it, it dropped out of the most popular maps now. So it's even a little bit harder to find because I mean, uh, it was in the list of, um, most popular maps per year and now it's the the map reached its anniversary and uh, is therefore not anymore there so yeah if you want to challenge yourself try the a diverse world map then uh, i also started tracking the alexa rank a few uh, weeks ago or like three four months in March, oh, that's already a little bit later, more. Um, so Alexa, I think what they do is measure the traffic from a site and compare it to other websites. And the Alexa rank has been de decreasing from 12,378 to 12,808 from less so from July to August now from end of July to end of August um, so it's the side with the 12,808 most traffic I'm not sure if it's only traffic but I think uh, yeah um, yeah and what is interesting is that since I've been tracking it has declined almost every week in March, it used to be 8,687. So it, it has lost like half of the rank like, or half have been, has been added. So, so either other pages are growing or GeoGuessr is getting smaller. I mean, yeah, we can also see the, on the numbers on the world map, but I mean, we have to track it for a long time to be, uh, to know exactly what's going on. 
Then that's Turkey. And this. Yeah, let's have a look at the chickens. Um, then the next thing that I noticed that even though the the game is not growing anymore, it feels on Twitch it's it has been growing rapidly than the last few months. So um, I remember a few months ago there were ten thousand followers on the game, and now it's like seventeen thousand. And it it was not long ago where there was only 5k or something like that. So, yeah, it's getting more popular on Twitch. And uh, you can also see it that there's more streamer now. Now that I, since I'm back home, I can see that sometimes in the evening there's there are five people streaming. And on the in the afternoon, there's always someone streaming it as well. And when I get up... Yeah, also, usually the US people are streaming it. So there's, yeah, I once had the dream that there would be a stream for the game 24 hours, always at least one stream. We're not quite there yet, but the game might reach it if it continues to grow on Twitch like that. So this is some chicken in Czechia. <laughs> Mongolia again. Uh, I spoiled it in case you guessed it, so you got another one. The Mongolia was probably rather easy because it always looks tree less. And yeah, this one is pretty hard. Wow. If you can get that right, you are really good, I can tell you. Don't look at the upper left corner. All right, then the other thing we spoke about the prices and how that's going to impact the the cost that the GeoGuess as company has. So um, we don't know yet. And on a Swedish website, you can check out their uh, financial data from the year end reports. And uh, some I, I regularly check if the 2017 report is coming out because yeah, it's now read closer to the end of 2018. So, so maybe we get the numbers for 2017 um, pretty soon, May maybe end of S September or something. Maybe that's that's a date that a lot of companies have closing time maybe uh, for their accounts. And so maybe then, and uh, I, I, I noticed that GeoGuessr was growing in 2017 compared to 16. And uh, yeah, so the numbers should be better, I think. Even better than 16, which was already a great year for them. So I'm going to recheck every month to see if that information is available. So this picture is Malta if you were correct doing that. So that's it for the GeoGuessr part, the game in general. Now I'm gonna talk a brief moment about my own channel or my channels. I got this YouTube channel, I got a Twitch channel. Um, there is... There is a... Hmm, now let's start first with the topic of what what I plan to do in September. Um, first of all, I'm not exactly sure how much time I'm gonna have because maybe I will be busier from the mi mid month to late month, but it's rather unlikely, but it still might happen. And if it happens, I might have no, no time at all to record videos. But uh, my intentions are to to go further on the Mexican state challenges. Uh, I still have three to record that uh, Simi provided me the map, I think. So three I can record, then I might do other stuff or because Simi is rather busy, I think. Um, then Topotic asked me to play his Spain Spanish region challenges. 
um, I'm gonna record those as well. Uh, the first one is going going on YouTube on the 7th of September. That's when I'm gonna. That's when all the country challenges are gonna be uploaded. So uh, or like until then, there all the 80 80 countries that I covered a challenge will be on YouTube on the playlist. So that's done. That was a huge project. So now I have more time for other stuff. Then I would like to occasionally do a Twitch stream. Um, yeah, because as we said, the, the game has been growing on Twitch and it it's nice to have interaction with the viewers. The only thing that uh, sucks about Twitch is that you don't have something lasting for the future. So on YouTube, the videos are up and they're going to be up and they're going to be found by people and watched. And on Twitch, it's like, yeah, it's going to be gone and nobody watches the VOD anyway. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. Then I, then I did a, the, a Diverse World challenge where I attempted to, to get 25,000 points. Um, I, if I have time, I would like to do more of these 25,000 challenges. Maybe next time I'm going to choose another map because on diverse world, it's so hard to do. You need to be so lucky with the seed. And, um, uh, even then it's pretty hard. And one last thing is that uh, Pizza Guy has been doing a interesting challenge on his Twitch stream where he played a diverse world without moving and he and he like he counted how long his he got the right country and uh, his first record was 10 times, 10 times before he guessed on the wrong country. And in the last stream, which I didn't really see, but I, or I just came in and at the end, uh, he had 16 times the right country in the end. So I would like to try this myself. Will be very hard to reach 16 or even 10 is not easy at all. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound that hard, but I mean, a diverse world has a lot of the smaller countries and they can really fool you. Um, yeah, and then there's one last thing. I created a straw poll um, that if if you want to answer, you, you are happy to do so. Um, it's, yeah, I, I would like to know your opinion on where you like my content. Uh, do you like it on Twitch? Do you like it on YouTube? Do you not care? Do you whatever? So I'm going to post that link in the description and maybe I also put some of the other links that are um, like, for example, the President's Cup uh, thread. I'm not sure if there's it's still possible to sign up, but it might be. Um, yeah, so check the description and um, also let me know if I forgot something or you think something else was important. Maybe I didn't see something or or yeah, there might still be stuff that has happened that I didn't see. Um, and also, yeah, if you want to let me know if you like this news schedule or not or like... I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have a look at the, the view numbers and see if it's popular or not. And depending on that and my time, I'm going to decide whether I'm going to continue it. Am I going to do it every month? Am I going to do it a little bit different? Am I going to be doing it the same? And also let me know if you like this, um, seeing those places on MapCrunch. Or if you would rather stare at my uh, s schedule sheet, <laughs> uh, 
if you want to see it you can go back to the start where I showed it um, yeah so that's it for the news I'm not sure how long it took but I think at least 550 minutes right um, yeah thanks for watching and have a great day see you next time bye bye